good afternoon students today's chapter is chapter number 3 in science fiber to fabric now what do you understand by fabric and the fiber fabric it like cloth material clothing material okay tame baddaj alag alag type na kapda pehro chho like ghani vakat tame jeans pehro chho ghani vakat tame cotton material na kapda pehro chho ghani vakat tame silk material na kapda pehro chho so these all are materials are known as fabric material okay so there are different kinds of fabric available in the market so one is cotton fabric અત્યારે આપણે ગરમી છે તો ગરમીની સીઝનમાં આપણે મોસ્ટલી કોટન ફેબ્રિક કોટન કપડાં પહેરીએ રાઇટ દેન ઇફ દેર ઇઝ એની ઓસ્પિશિયસ ઓકેઝન લાઈક કોઈનું વેડિંગ હોય કે તમારા ઘર ફેમિલીમાં કોઈ ફંક્શન હોય સો મમ્મીઝ લાઈક પેરેન્ટ્સ યુઝ એમાં મધર યુઝ ટુ વેર સિલ્ક સારી સો દેટ ઇઝ સિલ્ક મટીરિયલ દેટ ઇઝ સિલ્ક ફેબ્રિક દેન ઇફ દેર ઇઝ અ વિન્ટર સીઝન યુ યુઝ ટુ વેર વુલન જેકેટ્સ ઓર અ સ્વેટર્સ દે આર નોન એઝ વુલન ફેબ્રિક then there are another man made fabric for example polyester then there are acrylic materials like j materials mathi i'm so sorry j materials mathi uh, amuk jackets banta hoy che ka to bags banti hoy right so these are different kinds of fabric or a material now ab the fabric kevi rite bane kevi rite e a matlab bane ane apne pehri shakiye so each and every fabric is made out of fiber now what is fiber that you will study here like from fiber to fabric now tamara pase agar koi pan junu cloth ek koi kapdu padyu hoy to eni baju ma thi am string jevu nikle ane tame e juo to you will find a thin string i will show you it is how it looks now suppose this is you can see this is a napkin right and mostly apne napkin sena mate use kariye chhe aplo sweat pasino puchwa ke puchwa ke pachi apne apna bina hath luchwa mate ke ena mate so this is cotton material only cotton can soak water to ani andar thi ek thread kaadi ne tamne batau chu this is you can see a thread okay તમને મારા હાથમાં એક થ્રેડ દેખાતું હશે રાઈટ એન્ડ ઇફ આઈ વિલ ટેર ધીસ થ્રેડ લાઈક ધીસ યુ કેન સી અ થીન સ્ટ્રિંગ દોરી એકદમ નાનકડી દોરી તમારા હું આઈ વિલ શો યુ હાવ ઇટ લુક્સ સો ધીસ ઇઝ યુ કેન સે સી ધીસ મટીરિયલ is very thin material and this is a called a string of the fiber okay string of the fabric to aa che ek cotton nu fabric che ane cotton string che okay ane pan tame it is twisted if you can see very carefully it is twisted a rite twist kareli che so in from this string also you can take out material and that is fiber okay so now there are two types of fibers natural fiber and man made fiber now what are natural fiber so natural fibers are the fibers which are made out of plants and animals for example cotton so cotton je che fiber it is coming out of plant कॉटन ना प्लांट हो अगर तब अँ थी हाईवे पर निकलो तो घनी वक्त है हाईवे बने साइड व्हाइट कलर आम खेतर पर खम जाने व्हाइट फ्लावर्स आया होवा व्हाइट व्हाइट पूमड़ा जो रू तब रू जो हे राइट कॉटन रू जो है तो ये आखा रूज बदा आम आखा फील्ड में तमने जवा मे सो देट इज कॉटन प्लांट और कॉटन प्लांट में निकले कॉटन फाइबर एवज रीते वूल वूल से निकले शेप ओके वूल इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द शेप और अ गोट सो दे आर ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द एनिमल सो देट इज वाय दे आर नोन एज नेचरल फाइबर देन सिल्क इज ऑल्सो अ नेचरल फाइबर बिकॉज इट कम्स आउट फ्रॉम द सिल्क वॉम देन ज्यूट फाइबर दीज आर सम फाइबर्स विच वी एप्टेन फ्रॉम प्लांट्स एंड द एनिमल्स एंड दे आर नोन एज नेचरल फाइबर सो हियर बिफोर वी बिगिन दिस चैप्टर 
I want you to go on page uh, uh, page number first in that three point one variety of in fabric. Okay, we will skip activity one and two as I am I have done it for you. तमें activity one छे ये तो तमने you have to do by yourself self तमें छे ना कोई पन cotton cloth ने कोई पन cotton ना कपड़ा ने हम सनलाइट में लाइज तो यू विल सी अ स्क्वेर पैटर्न इन द कॉटन क्लॉथ एंड दैट स्क्वेर पैटर्न इज एक्चुअली द वीविंग ऑफ दीस फाइबर ओके एवज रीते बीजू जो है यान मैं तमने हमें बताऊँ एक तब कोईपण कॉटन ना के कोईपण सिल्कना के कोई भी मटिरियल में एक स्ट्रिंग काढ़ो दैट स्ट्रिंग इज नोन एज यान यान एट दोरी स्ट्रिंग ओके नाउ First of all, I want you to underline the define of fabric, which is on page number nine, uh, page number nineteen. Okay, and in the second paragraph of page number nineteen, you can find like this. We find that fabric is made up of yarns arranged together. This is the define of fabric. Okay, now. Fibers three point two is about fibers. So I have explained you what is yarn. Yarn में तमने हमने बताया क्या है? Yarn क्यों है? एक नानी string होती है ना yarn क्या है? पर ये string के भी तो बने खबर चल तमने वो बता fiber ने एक साथ हम twist करें. Now define of fiber is given on the page number nineteen itself. First I will read activity three and then I will tell you where it is written. Okay. Okay, now it is written. Activity three: Take out a yarn from a piece of cotton fiber, fiber cotton fabric. Place this piece in, of yarn on the table. Now press the one end of the yarn with your thumb and stretch the other end of the yarn along its length with your nail, as shown in Figure three point four. Do you find that an At this end, you the yarn splits into the thin strands. Now here, in the next side, you might have observed something similar when you try to thread a needle. Many times, many a time, the end of the thread is separated into few thin strands. This makes us diffi it difficult to pass the thread through the eye of the needle. Now please underline underline this important point. The thin strand of thread that are we see chen and strike out karvano chen that are made up of still thinner strands called fiber. So this I define of fabric and fiber is given to you. Fabric ni define chen. Ah, uh, fabric is made up of yarns arranged together. Ane fiber ni define chen. The thin strand, the thin strands of thread that are made up of a still thinner strands called fibers. Now, fabric are made up of yarns, and yarns are further made up of fibers. Now, underline this define of natural fiber. The fiber of some fabrics, such as cotton, jute, silk, and wool. Are obtained from plants and animals. These are called natural fiber. As I told you that cotton, che, silk, che, but the natural fiber, che, because they are coming out from the either from plants, either from animals. Okay. Now, cotton and jute are examples of fibers obtained from plants, while wool and silk of fibers obtained from animals. Wool is obtained from fleece of sheep and goat. It is also obtained from the hairs of rabbit, yak, camels, and silk fiber is drawn out of from sorry drawn from the cocoon of silkworm. अबे अब वो interesting चहे तो हमने आमन थी आ chapter नहीं अंदर न थी पर this is very interesting. Silkworm नो cocoon है ने ऐनी अंदर थी silk fiber obtained था अने That is why it is obtained from the animal insects. What he obtained, thay chhe, right? Now, some other plants, are, some other fibers which are not obtained from 
plants or animals they are known as synthetic fiber okay so what are synthetic fiber are here it is written uh, in the last line of this page only 19th page fibers are also made from chemical substances which are not obtained from plants and or animal sources these are called synthetic fiber so synthetic fibers are made out of chemicals be tron chemical ne bhega kari ane ek fiber banavama ave they are known as synthetic fiber ane enu example che nylon acrylic polyester these are the example of synthetic fiber okay now apne kem adu fiber nu badu bhaniye chhe karan ke you need to see you need to learn the process how this fiber will be converted into fabric so in this process first part is spinning okay now what is spinning some plant fibers now we will understand how the fibers obtained from the plant to pehlu che cotton have a cotton plant che ne e kya grow thai che like where it is growing what type of climatic condition it's needed this all things you have to learn in this point okay in this topic so i will read it for you and you need to underline these important points okay so we will start with the third paragraph of this part 3.3 third paragraph cotton plants it is written here where does this cotton wool come from it is grown in the field okay from after that you need to underline cotton plants are usually grown at places having black soil and warm climate can you name some states of our country where cotton is grown so cotton is the main state of this uh, like it is gujarat gujarat rajasthan madhya pradesh these this uh, states of this of india having black soil and warm climate ena lide apre tya in gujarat ni andar cotton is highly grown okay cotton plants are highly grown in gujarat okay now please underline this the fruit of the cotton plants in bracket cotton balls are about the size of lemon after mat maturing the balls burst open and the seeds covered with the cotton fiber can be seen underline complete now cotton plant che ne e uge ne etle ena je fruits fruits etle कॉटन बॉल ए केव एक, एक नानु बॉल जेव हो अंदर थी बस्ट थे बस्ट एट धड़ाको ना थे पर निकले बा जम फूल खीले ने इफ यू हेव सीन फ्लावर बस्ट आउट ब्लूम्स तो ये पहला कड़ी अंदर हो एक आम ग्रीन कड़ी अंदर ने पीछे खुले एज रीते कॉटन प्लांट्स है ये बस्ट ओपन थाय ओपन थाय पी एकदम पफी बॉल होटन बॉल हो अने पी ए बॉल अंदर एक सीड हो सीड ने तेरे ए कॉटन बॉल में काढ़ी नाखवा कॉटन बॉल इज अ फ्रूट एंड देर इज इन साइड दी कॉटन बॉल यू विल फाइंड कॉटन सीड्स एंड यू हेव टू टेक आउट देट कॉटन सीड्स ओके ना तब लोग प्रोसेस ने कहवा कॉम्बिंग तो ये के रीते करें दे यूज टू टेक सवन कॉम यू केन सी द पिक्चर ऑफ फिगर थ्री पॉइंट सेवन वन बॉय इज कॉम्बिंग the cotton plant combing means there is a comb uh, kind of uh, mm, so kya ek uh, tool hoy ena thi e loko cotton na je bada uh, so kya cotton hoy ne ene comb kare ane je seed hoy e andar ni side rahi jaye ane baki nu jo cotton balls che bahar jata re ane e rite seeds che nikale cotton ma thi okay so this process is called spin uh, this process is called ginning uh, ginning sorry this process is called gening so please underline the define of gening which is written in the right side of the page in second paragraph from these balls cotton is usually picked by hand fiber are then separated from the seed by combing this process is called gening so fibers are separated from the seeds by combing 
this process is called gening. So, gening defined is given and any process ke bhi chhe, e pan eloko hai tamne ahiya batavi chhe in figure, ok. So, gening karya pachi seeds chhe e cotton na balls maathi nikli jai chhe. Now, what they do? Next process. ये आपने next में जुए सो, जहरे आपने ये next process है separating cotton छे यान ये बात ही ये कर सो, ये ना पची बीजो एक plant fiber छे ये छे jute, cotton के भी तो खबर पड़ी ये तमने के cotton क्या एक तो cotton क्या हो गये, black soil जहाँ होए त्यां अने warm climate होए त्यां, plus ये cotton सोचे ये fruit छे, एक plant नू fruit छे, now jute, jute ने हॉट क्लाइमेट नहीं जो है तो इन्हें मॉडरेट क्लाइमेट जो है चाहे अने ए अखो टॉपिक चाहे वो रीड करें इस जूट माटे नो एंड देन यू अंडरलाइन इट एंड देन आई एल एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू ओके नाउ जूट जूट फाइबर इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द स्टेम ऑफ द जूट प्लांट अंडरलाइन दैट इट इज कल्टीवेटेड ड्यूरिंग द रेनी Bihar and Assam. Underline please. The jute plant is normally harvested when it is in flowering stage. That is also you need to underline. The stems of the harvested plant are immersed in the water for few days. The stems root and fibers are separated by hand. Please underline all these lines. Now, uh, now, cotton plant is obtained from hot climate and you know, time is different, you know, time duration you know, growth hai. it mainly grows nearly March and April season in the growth. Hai. Okay, cotton. Jareke jute chhe, it always rainy season ma growth hai. it needs lot of rain. So, I will tell you that which states having jute plant, uh, production? So, the state of West Bengal, Bihar, and Assam. Assam is the heaviest rainfall. Thato hai. So, jute plant needs more rainfall and it needs moderate climate. Now, jute plants, chhe, and I, sorry, jute fiber, chhe, it obtains from the stem of the jute plant. Now, cotton fibers are obtained from the cotton ball, cotton na fruit maathi and jute plant is obtained from the stem of the jute plant, okay. And how it is obtained? To jare flowering stage ma, jute plant jare flowering stage ma hoi, tiyare su thai ke enu je uh, stem hoi, any skin ukhari lea ma hoi, the skin maathi uh, nana 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 nani skin lai lea ma hoi, any stem par thi. अने पची ए जे स्किन छे एने पानी नी अंदर इदे keep it in the water, soak it in the water for few days, then it roots, ले सड़ी जाए and then out of that the jute plant is, jute fiber is obtained. Now jute fiber is mainly used for making gunny bags, sacks, sacks एट ले बिला कोथड़ा, right, then uh, uh, you can say uh, blank, uh, you, uh, the jute is obtained to make gunny bags, then niche pathramani je chattai hoy. Okay, so these all things were made up of jute, while cotton is used to make mattresses, then uh, cushion covers, then clothes, right? All these things. So these are the uh, difference between cotton and jute plant. Now, this 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 uh, this is also I will uh, give you in the um, PDF format the notes in this difference between cotton and jute plant I will give you. Okay. Now, 3.4. Okay. Before 3.4, I want you uh, underline the define of yarns. So, we will start with the 3.4 now. Spinning cotton yarns. Now, we will now today we will study how these uh, cotton from the cotton fiber we will get cotton fabric ok. So, any under first just ginning, ginning at length the process of separating seeds from the cotton ball. Now, second process is spinning, spinning at length so, the spinning is it is written over here in the second paragraph the process of making yarn from fiber is called spinning. 
in this process fibers from the mass of cotton wool are drawn out and twisted this brings the fibers together to form a yarn so the process of spinning is written over here spinning ema su thai so pehla cotton ball hoy ene apne separate kar lo pachi cotton ball ni andar thi fiber kaadi ne ene twist kare ane etlu bodu twist kare jo tamne figure 3.9 ni andar batavelu che making yarn for from cotton so they twist it and they use different material like uh, they used charkha or they used takli it is takli is given on figure 3.10 so these kind of uh, tools have been used to spin the cotton uh, fiber and to make the yarn okay yarn it is string je dora je kahiye je dhaga ene yarn kehvai okay now the simple device used for spinning is hand spindle also called takli okay another hand operated device used for spinning is called charkha now you know about charkha gandhi ji no charkho right gandhi ji spinning kema karta tha tamne khabar hoy it is shown in the figure 3.11 barabar charkho che ek so that is used for spinning ओके अने दिस चरखा एंड तकली इज टेकिंग वेरी इम्पोर्टंट चरखा इज टेकिंग वेरी इम्पोर्टंट रोल प्लेइंग वेरी इम्पोर्टंट रोल इन इंडिपेन्डन्स मुवमेंट ओके ए लख्य यूज ऑफ चरखा पॉप्युलाइज बाय महात्मा गांधी एज पार्ट ऑफ द इंडिपेन्डन्स मुवमेंट He encouraged people to wear clothes made of hand spoon, home spoon, yarn, termed as khadi, and shun imported cloth made in the mills of Britain. To popularize and promote khadi, the government of India constituted. a body called khadi and village industry industries commission in 1956 so this is this can be important apna underline karan jaro nahi but this is very uh, common thing ke apne independence movement ma khadi banai ne loko khadi na kapda pehrta tha and even they used to wear uh, the uh, fabric which is drawn and which is made from themselves emna pota na thi banelu vastu e loko pehrta tha okay Now after spinning, okay, after spinning to carry do yarn banana did do right. After spinning, you need to have another method which is called weaving and knitting. So what is weaving and knitting? That is the process is given to you here. First is three point five yarn to fabric. Now there are two ma main methods to make yarn to fabric. The pehli method is weaving. Weaving ni under two sets of yarn. Itle two dora, one with the other. If you see in page number, you will see how the weaving has been done. So, I have done craft, art and craft. Ma, karu hoshe, lagbag. So, this is how weaving done. Itle, if you look at the page and if you see the green and red color string, they are like green and red color uh, strips are. think like a, it's a string and they are overlapping each other that's how weaving has been done example tumne aapu ke tame agar movies ma ke tvs ma joyo tv ma joyo hase handloom loko aa rite am kari ne am khenchta okay ghana loko e sui dhaga picture joyo hoy ke e badu joyo hoy to tumne you will see ke handlooms kone kehve handlooms are the a tool or a inst uh, tool which or a um, machine which may be hand hand machine and which which is done uh, which is doing uh, weaving okay weaving je karta hai a handloom che okay to handloom thi weaving thai shake so i'll read it for you now okay please underline the define which is on page number 21 the process of arranging two sets of yarn together to make a fabric is called weaving so that's the define of weaving now we will read in a similar manner two sets of yarn 
are woven to make a fabric, the yarns are much thinner than our paper strips. Of course, weaving a, of fabric is done on looms. The looms are either hand operated or power operated. Now, looms, hand looms. Tame uh, lagoi hand looms uh, naam sambri ho se. Tame agar uh, bed sheets ne mattresses leva jaun, then it's called hand looms, national hand looms and all. So, hand looms are the machine which made fabric from yarn by the process of weaving. Okay. So, this is what uh, this is what weaving is all about. Second method is knitting. Knitting it less. तमे कोई तमारा दादी के तमारा मम्मी के कोई ने कोई आंटी ने स्वेटर नीट करता जो है ऐसा लाइक इन लोगों ने पासे बे हम लंबा सोया होए सोय होए एंड दे यूज्ड टू मेक स्वेटर्स सो इट इट इज गिवन ऑन पेज नंबर 22 इटसेल फिगर 3.14 बट इन नीटिंग ओनली वन सेट ऑफ यान इज नीडेड एक नीटिंग मा एक कच यान मा थी नीटिंग था फैब्रिक बना मा आवे सिंपल एग्जांपल आप तमारा तमे लोग कोई कोई मोजा पहरा होए कम समटाइम्स तमारा स्कूल ना सॉक्स होए तो इफ यू सी स्कूल सॉक्स इफ यू टेक आउट वन स्ट्रिंग फ्रॉम द सॉक्स वन यान फ्रॉम द सॉक्स देन होल सॉक्स विल लूज अ पार्ट Okay, why it is so? Because it is made up of knitting. It is knitted socks. Okay, so I am reading it the defined for you after knitting. Upon uh, page twenty two, knitting ne niche ni line chhe. In knitting, a single yarn is used to make a piece of fabric. That is a defined of knitting. Okay. Have you pulled a yarn from a torn pair of socks? What happens? A single yarn gets pulled out continuously as the fabric gets unraveled. Socks and many other clothing items are made up of knitted fabric. Knitting is done by hand or by also by machine. So, machine thi pan knitting thai chhe and hand thi pan knitting loko karta hoi chhe. Okay, now this weaving and knitting makes uh, the process to make fabric from the yarn. Okay, so there are three processes in the making in making uh, fiber from fiber to fabric. Three process che. First che ginning. Ginning atle cotton na balls mati seeds ne separate karwana. Second method che spinning. Cotton fiber ne twist karine yarn banavanu and the third method is weaving or knitting weaving use two sets of yarn knitting needs only one set of yarn so there are two method from to make uh, fabric from the yarn one is weaving second is knitting okay so that's all these are the processes from making fiber to fabric at least processes now the history of clothing now how this history of clothing is important now why it is important kai ke pehla na time ma loko cloth no tha pehta e loko su pehta tha instead of fabric clothes they used to wear animal skin or uh, they used to wear a leaf of the uh, uh, leaf of the plants okay धीरे 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 लोगों फैब्रिक नहीं ऊपर आया, so we will read and I want you to underline when I am telling you to underline, okay? History of clothing materials. Now आपने आपने जाने जी कहती है आपने बस दरेक जातना कपड़ा पहनी है जी, we used to wear lots of kind different kinds of fabric, but ancient time people used to wear animal skin or fur or bark or you can say uh, leaves, big leaves of the tree as their cloth. So, you have to underline because this can be asked as a short note. History of clothing can be asked as a short note. So, please underline and mark point by point. Okay. So, pello point. I will read and then I will tell you where the first point is. Okay. 
Have you ever wondered what materials people used in ancient times for clothes? It appears that in those times, now please underline, people used the bark and big leaves of trees or animal skins and furs to cover themselves. Underline complete and please write there first number one. Okay, that is first point. In second point, you need to write. After people began to settle in agriculture communities, they learned to weave twigs and grass into mats and baskets. Wines, animal fleas and hairs were twisted together into long strands. These were woven into fabrics. Please underline this is as a second point. Okay. Third point. The early Indians were wore fabrics made out of cotton that grew in the region near the river Ganga. Flax is also a plant that gives a natural fiber. In ancient Egypt, cloth, cotton as well as flax were cultivated near the river Nile that were used to make fabric. You underline this, it, it, uh, to underline you, if you don't want to underline that is okay because this is just they, they can ask you this point as a short question answers. Okay. Now third point we have to underline, in those days stitching was not known, people simply draped uh, the fabric around different parts of their body. Many different ways of draping were used, draping fabric were used that is point number 3. Okay. Now last point, with the invention of the sewing needle, People started stitching fabric make, to make clothes. Stitched fabric have gone through the many variations since their invention. That is it. Now that is all in this chapter. You will understand Tame Jara read so you will understand the whole points and then I will share a question answers with the PDF format. Thank you so much.